I am so embarrassed. So this week we've been talking about addictions, if you haven't figured that out already. So it's kind of embarrassing because I have a lot of addictions uh, <laughs> that I probably need to work on a little bit. Yeah. Should we just start making a list? So first of all, my probably number one addiction is Harry Potter. It's kind of embarrassing like how much I love Harry Potter. Like last night we were just sitting in our room and all of a sudden I just screamed because I realized that they had put out the part two trailer for Harry Potter and I just screamed and like scared everyone to death because they had no idea what I was doing. Also for my honeymoon, I kind of want to go to Harry Potter land in Orlando. I mean, if my husband doesn't take me there then I'm just not going to marry him. That's just kind of how that's going to go. I learned how to knit just so I could be more into Harry Potter. You kind of don't get more addicted to Harry Potter than what I am. And I know that Michaela and Mario both like Harry Potter, but I I'm willing to bet I'm like more addicted. I I don't know. It it you know could be put up for a vote. Secondly, would have to be Dragon Age. I love everything Dragon Age. I mean anything. Anything. I got these games like right after they came out. I played them. I played them at least a hundred times each. Okay, that's probably a lie, but I have played these games so much that I could rewrite every single scenario for you, like word for word. Because I have done everything. Because I love these games. And, huh, yeah. Dragon Age 2 wasn't as good as Dragon Age 1. But it's still totally worth it if you want to play. I'm losing my voice. Can you tell? Going along with Dragon Age would have to be Mass Effect. Now, I'm not so much into Mass Effect as I am into Dragon Age. But, Mass Effect is pretty cool. And I can't wait for the third one to come out. Truthfully, I'm kind of just addicted to Bioware. They really come out with the best games. And... No one can really compare it to what they do. They make like the best RPGs, the best everything, the best graphics. They're just they're just wonderful. So number two would definitely have to be like Bioware, Mass Effect, Dragon Age stuff because that's what I spend most of my life on. Third, without a doubt, would have to be Star Wars. Ask me anything about Star Wars, I'll know it. I've spent hours learning about Star Wars. I've read books, I've played games. I'm really just kind of a genius when it comes to Star Wars. Every Sunday my roommates and I watch a Star Wars movie. We're kinda weird. I love Star Wars so much that my whole entire life revolves around it. Everywhere I go I see something that reminds me of Star Wars. Did you know that they're re-releasing all of the Star Wars in 3D starting next year? Ah! Told you. Genius. What are we on? Four now? Whatever number we're on. My next addiction is definitely superheroes. Almost all of my books are about superheroes. Almost everything I own is a superhero. I sleep with a giant Iron Man. I have an Iron Man backpack. I have an Iron Man keychain. I have an Iron Man shirt. I love superheroes. My last addiction for you is going to be pertaining to music. I have one artist that I love more than anything and anyone in the whole entire world. I learn like every song he puts out and I listen to every album he puts out and every song and I watch like every video on YouTube about him. Who is it, Katie? Ian Axel. I love Ian Axel so much that he is inspiring one of my books that I'm writing right now. That means he's awesome. If you don't know who Ian Axel is, you should. Truthfully, I can't think of a better artist. I just, I can't. Nope. There is no better artist. Just Ian Axel. I love him. I love him. I love him. So those are my top five addictions. And I think we've well established that I'm the biggest nerd on the planet. That's okay. This weekend I'll be playing a show. Um, on Saturday I will be playing um, at Mrs. Powell's where I live in Idaho Falls. So if you want to go, I'll be there like around 7. I'll be playing, singing. And Robbie, you know, Tuesday Robbie will actually be there too. So... I'm also playing tonight, but I don't expect you all to be there, because I wasn't even supposed to be there, but whatever. So, um, yeah, check that out, um, and I'll post some videos and stuff of Robbie and I and whatnots. So, yeah, always remember who you are and what you stand for, and always know that I love you. Also remember to tell your friends and to, like, subscribe and, oh, I just knocked stuff over. Remember to tell your friends and like rate and subscribe and whatever the crap you do down there now, but you know, just play around in my downstairs mix up and you'll find stuff to do.